So inside of this box is a buildable car with an actual running engine from the company Nifliz. And they're actually kind enough to send this over for free, so thank you so much to them for doing that. I'm so excited to take a look at it, and uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. So yeah, once again, they're actually kind enough to send this over for me for free to take a look at. But they didn't tell me anything to say, so this is all my actual opinion. I will say already the shipping is faster and better than Lego.com because it did not come crushed, so bonus points for that. Very fancy, all black. Oh, ugh. look at that. So here it is, look at this thing. This is so stinging cool. This retails for $150 and you can get it on Amazon. It's actually on Prime, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, this thing is huge, it has like 3,000 pieces. So I'm gonna go build it, it's probably gonna take me a while and I'll let you know when I finish it. So I finished the build of the car and this thing is huge. Like I don't know how much you can tell on camera, but this thing in person is just giant and very heavy and just sturdy. So to start off with the building experience, the building experience is probably the best I've ever had from a knockoff Lego company. So really quickly, Nifilis is actually doing a really cool thing right now. Or if you take a survey, it only took me like a minute, I took it, you actually get a 10% off coupon that you can use on their products. So I will link that in the description. So the building experience in this car was absolutely incredible. The piece quality and the instructions were the best I've ever had from a company that's not Lego. The pieces snapped together very well and just felt and looked very good, very high quality. And I will say the build is tough just because of what it is. It's 16 plus and it is, there's a bunch of gears and moving parts. It's a very tough build, but it's very fun and the quality of it is very good. I feel like it's pretty on par with a Lego Technic set. I think if you like Lego Technic, you have no trouble putting this together. Instructions are very good. They're very intuitive. It's very easy to know which piece you can use, which is good because there are a lot of Technic pins and rods and just a bunch of different sizes, and I didn't have any troubles knowing which one to use at all. And I will say, it was a tough build, but it was 100% worth it because this build is maybe the coolest thing I've ever built. And I'm not a car person. I don't really, the only car that really interests me is a Tesla. But all of the gears, the working engine, which I'll show you in a minute, the gear shift, the wheels, all of it is just very fun to put together. And once you're done, it leaves you with this incredible model. So let's get into some of the features. First off, obviously the doors, the doors open very nicely. They both do, so that's a, it's a simple feature, but it's, you know, you want it from a car, obviously. I will say one thing is this one wheel has a bit of trouble staying on, but I don't know why that is. All the other three stay on perfectly fine, but this one has a bit of a tendency to pop off if you're not super careful. One of the coolest features for me is actually right in here, there's a little Technic rod. And if you push it up, it actually adjusts the fin into the position. So you can see it's moving here. And it's just, again, a fairly simple feature, but that's just really cool and something I wasn't expecting. Another fun one is the wheel in the car, and here actually turns the wheel, so you can see them turning right there. But if you don't want to use the wheel, because it's kind of in there, there's a rod right here that if you move it, you can see, turns the wheels very nicely. And there's one more feature before we get to that, just the aesthetics of this car is beautiful. And I'm really glad I went with this color, because all of the purple chrome and silver chrome pieces are really good. You don't get chrome very often from Lego, so to get so many chrome pieces in one Lego set is just incredible. So now the final feature, which is just by far the coolest one and also the toughest to put together. You're basically working on this the whole time until you put the wheels on and finish it. And the feature is if you move it along as it drives, the pistons will move and the whole engine in here actually works like an actual car. And this is incredible. There's so much gears and everything in here that makes this work. And once you do it, it's a very rewarding thing because you know how much time and how much is in here to make this feature work. Even cooler, there's a gear shift. And if you turn it and then move it, the pistons won't move. But overall, this model is absolutely incredible. It's rewarding. All the features work incredible. And it's just downright beautiful. I am very impressed with this and I really hope that I can get some more Nifilis products in the future because I'm very impressed with this one. Okay, so I didn't really want to do this, but I have my car, I posted a poll and 
Like 70% of me said yes, so I have to drop it. One. <laughs> Look at that, nothing even happened. Told you. So that's it, thank you once again to Nifilis for sending this to me for free, it means a lot. I will link this product and their Amazon page in the description along with the survey to get 10% off. And yeah, overall, I would recommend it. And it's not just because they sent it to me for free. Genuinely, I went at this from the most unbiased point of view. And it's just an incredible set. I think if you like LEGO Technic, you will love this. And it's a lot cheaper than LEGO Technic too. It's only $150, where this usually be like $300 from LEGO. If you're thinking about it, I would highly recommend it. I think that this set is incredible. And if you get all the features built right, they're really cool. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.